What's up guys, Jace here, and we're back with a new video. Um, the YouTube channel's been a little dry, because we haven't had that much content, especially for Grand Blue, but Lord Psy Games has blessed us with a new trailer, and it's the character I've been waiting for. It's Percival, which is uh, one of my favorite characters in Grand Blue, so I'm kind of hyped. I've seen this trailer like a dozen times. The interesting part about it was, uh, it was late night, it was like 2 a.m. I was playing Overwatch. I finished and I went on Twitter and three people tagged me. And I was like, what are they tagging me in? And it ended up being this trailer. So I watched it like at 3 a.m. <laughs> a whole bunch of times. So I kind of went over and see all the little nitty gritty about the trailer. And we can kind of pick apart what's happening with Percival. Uh, this trailer is a little different than the other ones. It's a little bit more cinematic um, compared to like Lad where he had a pretty big showcase of his moves. This one has a decent amount of moves being shown, but it's not as crazy. It's more about the flair because Percival is a very flashy character and people like him. Also, by the way, this isn't the normal speed of the video. I slowed it down, so it'll be easier for me to stop. Well, we can skip this cinematic real quick. It's just an intro. By the way, if you haven't seen the trailer and it's full, like in full speed, you should watch it. It's a pretty cool trailer. There he is, first of all. He is a tall man, by the way. Um, coming from Dragon Ball, where being tall is kind of a death sentence in this game. Or in Dragon Ball, excuse me. Uh, in this game, I don't know if this will affect you very much. Because in the beta, none of the characters were particularly tall besides Catalina. And being tall didn't really have any effect into the gameplay. So, uh, he should be fine. But what is also tall as normals is you're going to see very soon, which is very good. Um, I think this is auto combo. I'm going to assume it's auto combo here. He has a nice follow up to it with the DP. This is interesting. Um, the good thing about this DP is it looks big. But this little shoulder tackle at the at the very beginning of it is, is weird. I wonder if this is tied to his auto combo or if it's tied... To his attack because you see before he does the dp itself he goes for this little shoulder tackle here so i wonder if that is tied to the all combo or not another interesting move here uh i wonder if this is a reka so you'll see briefly right here so he goes for i'm assuming it's like 5h maybe and then he has this little flare here I wonder if there is follow-ups for this move besides what we're looking at right now. Maybe there's like a low option or like a high option because this is mid. Okay, kind of like dashes forward. It might be like a Rekka. That'd be really good because Grand's Rekka is very good in this game. So I wonder if Percival has the same thing. It looks like a lot of blocks in it. It might be unsafe. Uh, we'll find out though when we put the play on. Another move. I wonder if this one's also tied to the Rekka. But it's kind of weird because we're going to see. Hold on. Uh, Lad is already in hit stun in this. It's a little hard to tell. It could be his throw also. Now that I think about it. Because you see, it's not like Lad is jumping in. He's already in hit stun. So, I, I, it might be a throw. It could be a special move. Like, um... I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. This is a little weird. I'm going to assume it's a throw, though. I think I'm right in saying that. Because he kind of pushes you away from him. This is interesting. I think this is a sweep. Also, uh, this might be tied to his character trait button, his D button. Which, uh, Grant's really good. So, hopefully, Principal has the same thing. Sweep into Universal Overhead. I, I, I don't remember what it was. I think it was medium heavy was the universal overhead. Little flare. This is really cool. He, his trail is super sick. This move though. This is... I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. So when I walks this a couple times, I thought this might have been his throw. But now that I slowed it down, you can see that Charlotte is in block stun. So, this might be a guard break, actually. 
And we have no guard breaks in the game yet. So this is kind of cool. You see how she flares back and he gets a combo for this. This little clip is pretty good too. Because you can see some of his other normals. Um, this might be 5M. I hope it is. Because this button looks crazy. This looks like a really, really good button. 5M into this fireball. As you see here. Kind of like if anybody played KOF. Kind of like a Kyo or Iori fireball. Where it kind of slides on the ground. That's pretty dope. It's a nice clip right there we got. Uh, the rest of these are pretty much cinematics. You do see a nice clip here of a super. I like this clip a lot too because you see in the beginning here, it has that cinematic, but it kind of cuts off in the middle. I wonder if he, how far he goes during the super because, uh, for example, Grant has something similar where he, he thrusts forward, but it doesn't go very far, which is kind of annoying because if you're trying to punish a fireball, let's say if you're like in the middle of the screen, you try to punish a fireball with like reactionary super, you really can't because he doesn't go that far. So it's kind of limited, but Percival looks like he goes pretty far and his sword is really big. So it might be a good use to be doing reactionary super with Percival. Sick follow-up. This game looks really, really pretty. The rest of these are pretty much cinematics. Of course, you gotta tie in the lore with the Dragon Knights, Lancelot and Percival. You see his big super, his like finishing super, it's kind of cool. But the rest of these are pretty much cinematics. And that's it. It's pretty short and sweet. But um, yeah, there's also a tweet uh, about him, which is nice. So this is from the director. He said he made the trailer a little more serious than the other two. And Percival is a simpler character like Gran and Catalina, which I am a fan of. I like the simple characters. I'm a very boring fighting game player. So if I can if I have a character that covers all options and is like overall good, you know, no no like no like inherent flaws to their design, no gimmicks, I'm a fan. So I'm glad he said this that Percival is a more simpler character. And he will be playable tomorrow at this Grand Blue Extra Festival. And in in sense I can't pronounce that. I'm not gonna pronounce that. <laughs> in Osaka, Sendai, and Osaka event. So people can try him out, and maybe we we'll get some more footage of him since this trailer was kind of short. We'll be able to get some nice juicy gameplay, so I can upload that. We can talk about how he operates as a whole character. But um, yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully, we get some more footage soon, so I can upload more YouTube content. But um, I'm sure they're gonna start. Uh, increasing the pace of their characters since you know evil is coming up and the game is going to come up pretty soon it's going to come out q4 so the end of 2019 but um yeah that's it for me hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next installments of some grand blue take care